Hey, what's up everybody? Just want to have a conversation about stacking precious metals versus or verse and or paying off debt. Now, a couple years ago, I made a decision that I want to be as debt free as possible. Now, as far as credit cards, I think all of us can agree the very worst debt that we can possibly have is credit card debt. Credit card debt the interest rates are horrible. Um, in a lot of cases, some credit cards, you have to read the fine print, but some credit cards, if you have to pay interest on credit cards, some of them are ridiculous, like 30% interest rate, stuff like that. Um, which is why a lot of these credit card companies offer you, you know, cash rewards, travel rewards, which I do take advantage of, but there's a lot of people who can't pay off the balance and have to pay these high interest rates, which I, refers, which I refuse to do. So anytime I have a balance or put money on a credit card, I don't put anything on a credit card unless I know I can pay off that balance. So credit card debt is by far the worst. But I made a decision a couple years ago that I want to pay off cars. I don't want... I, we used to be really big as far as leases. I don't want to lease anymore. I don't want to have a continue, a, a continuous um, car payment. I want to be able to pay it off. Now, unfortunately, cars do break. So you're either going to have to lease if you don't want to pay for car repairs. Or you, you have to pay it off as fast as possible and hope you can have a couple of years before you start dishing out money for repairs. Um, but should we stack first or should we pay off debt first? Um, so when I started stacking, I was not interested. My mind wasn't towards paying off debt. I was just focusing on um, having a savings, ha having a cash savings, having a, a physical precious metal savings. And I think both are important. I think having a cash savings is just as important as having a savings in precious metals. Um, because as liquid as precious metals are, cash is more liquid. Cash, if you have repairs to the car, repairs to the house, um, if you have all these things, you have to have a cash savings or else you're going to have to sell some of your precious metals. So I think a cash savings is just as important as a savings in precious metals. Um, in some cases, probably a little bit more important to have that cash savings before having too much of the precious metals. Um, because, uh, you know, you have to, to, unfortunately, you know, stores and that kind of thing, they don't, most of them anyway, won't accept silver. They won't accept gold. But, um, so I think both are very important. Now, if I could go back when I started stacking precious metals, I probably would have started paying off debt a little bit more before um, getting too involved in stacking the precious metals. And then once I got debt paid off, a little bit more than get a little bit heavier into the precious metals because do we really have a store of wealth if we always owe somebody money and I think for me the answer is no so that's what I want if you can leave a comment in the comment section and let me know do you really have a store of wealth if you have if you owe people money as far as debt. If you owe um, a automaker or a dealership um, money for a lease, if you have a high car payment and you owe 300 a month or 400 a month, I still think that there's room to save. I think we all should be saving. Um, but at the same time, we should probably be paying off debt a little bit faster saving and stacking um, a little bit less while we're paying off debt. And then once debt gets paid off, then we can have, then we'll have more money 
to save in terms of cash, a cash savings, and putting a lot more into the physical precious metals, silver and gold. Um, so what are we looking at right here? Let me tell you, isn't this a, a beautiful coin? This is the 2014 um, Wedge-Tailed Eagle, and this was the first release in the Wedge-Tailed Eagle series by the Perth Mint. Really cool. Um, I bought two of these a couple years ago. Mercani signed slab, which um, I don't buy stuff like this anymore, but this is a real cool one. And um, of course, we have the Inglehard Prospector rounds. Don't we love the sound of the of the silver clinging together? Isn't that cool? But um, anyway, if you are debt free, leave a comment in the comment section um, if you don't mind saying so, because I think that is important. Um, a lot of us stackers are smarter than the uh than our government our government doesn't care or at least it seems that most of our government does not care about our national debt they just keep racking it up um the only time i really heard anybody recently talk about our national debt was president trump talking about refinancing it and um, getting a lower interest payment, paying lower interest on our debt. But nonetheless, um, you very rarely hear about anybody talking about trying to pay it off. So at some point, there's going to have to be probably a dollar reset or something like that. At some point, we're going to have to do something about this national debt. Is it ever going to be paid off? Probably, probably not. Um, but anyway, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, um, about paying off debt or stacking, which is more important. I think they're both important. Um, but should you focus more on paying off that debt before stacking so much in precious metals? And I think that's probably the smarter way to do it is pay off debt first. Save a little bit at a time while you're paying off debt. But once you get that debt paid off, especially the, the cars, um, I think the house is maybe a little bit less important because you get a big tax break when you are when you have a mortgage. But I would still like to get that mortgage paid off. It takes a little bit longer, of course, because you, know, you owe a lot more on the mortgage than you do when you buy the cars and the tr you know trucks are expensive but um so that's my focus is paying off paying off debt paying off debt paying off debt being more responsible than what our government can be in terms of our own personal debt so let me know what you guys think about that and um as always, I appreciate everybody for watching, listening, um, taking part in the conversation. And uh, a lot of, in a lot of videos, I just like to have conversations about stuff like this. And maybe other people will look at the comments and, you know, feed off of the conversation and get, you know, a lot of opinions on a lot of topics like this. I think it's uh, very important to have conversations and talk about wide range of, um, of issues. And I think for me, that paying off debt is very important. I know I say it a lot. I made several videos about paying off, paying off our personal debt, but um, credit cards, evil credit card debt is bad. I love, I love the plastic because it pays uh, good in rewards, but them rewards are useless if you're paying high interest rates. So if you have a credit card, pay off that credit card anyway, in any way possible. Um, even if it means liquidating some of the stack to pay off a credit card because your your stack is doing nothing for you if you're paying high credit card interest rates in my opinion none of this is financial advice this is all just my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comment section 
below what do you think about this wedge tailed eagle pretty cool it's not stacking weight it's just a uh, a collection this had a bit of a premium on it and then of course the sound of the silver how do you like that music music to my ears anyway let me know what you guys think about everything comment like comment subscribe I'll talk to everybody on my next video. What do you think about paying off that debt?